Sorry, not sorry. Shit, homie. You just busted my ass. Okay. <laughs> now we could start the Busted thing. my asshole. All right, ready? Where's the nastiest place you've came? Uh, your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, welcome to Troglomite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, welcome to Troglomite, yeah. the, uh, the podcast where I still haven't come up with a tagline or anything to say, and I'm just oh, going to keep this going for as long as humanly possible. My name's John. I'm Ryan. I'm Garrett. Oh, you didn't uh, you didn't choke up this time. I do I'm not gonna lie, every time it gets to me, I like like oh, oh I'm dingle hopper. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um <laughs> Oh yeah. Duh. Yeah, so um so we recorded about half an hour's worth of this and realized we didn't have the mics plugged in. But in that time, Garrett once again forgot his name and introduced almost introduced himself as Dingle Hopper. <laughs> Fuck me! There's no, there's no <laughs> audio. I can't disprove the fact that I was gonna make a joke. Like, like, oh, come on! All right, my name's Jake. Oh yeah, yeah, like the dog from Dog's Life. God, Jake. You know what, man? This just feels like I'm, like, I'm gonna live in like a never-ending cycle. This is what purgatory actually probably is like. Is yeah, it's just Dingle finding- Hopper, Jake, and Jimmy Stewart. This has been Chalk Thank you guys so much for listening. It's yeah. just, oh yeah, with um off-screen presence, uh, Nick. Hey, oh Nick. yeah, yeah, yeah. Introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. I'm Nick. Yeah, he's our guy in the What's chair. On, Don't man. call him Jamie. Jamie. Shut up. Disrespectful. Where did we, we get copyright stroke from? Fucking. Jamie well, because a person has a fucking name. Jamie, yeah, he's so gonna funny. be one of our twenty views. Joe would do that. Too. Did you see the first one had twenty views? The first episode of the yeah. podcast. Yeah, it's got twenty views. 20 Ours 20 or Joe Rogan's? Ours. Yeah, well, twenty three. Yeah, our, oh, ex- our, ex- our extended cut, extended cuts are available on Patreon. But <laughs> we did it. We made some, one. Um, but yeah, like so far, I need to share more, and I'm gonna try and like release some shorts. But dang, that's so cool. Yeah, we hey, need T-shirts. They need to say uh, "Pickle Chicken Rampage" and um, mm, mm, mm. here it is. Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> that is Don't make show. me hop on YouTube merch again, because. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bullied Ant Dude. <laughs> oh yeah, off screen we're bullying Ant Dude. No, I love Ant Dude. Ant Dude, if you're watching this, fuck your opinion on Tears of the King. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, okay, so we saw on Twitter um, because I love Pikmin Four, and I have not played Tears. Wait, of the Wait, wait, Garrett, you like Pikmin Four? You like Pikmin? Oh. I like the Nintendo Land Pikmin. Game. I like the Nintendo Land Pikmin game. I like the Nintendo Land Pikmin game. You haven't we played like it. The Nintendo yeah, Land Pikmin, Pikmin game. But I will say, I have not played Tears of the Kingdom yet. But I will say, from what I played from Pikmin 4, as a Pikmin fan, it's really good. I don't know where I lie if it's like maybe one of the best games in the franchise. I'm not going to quote that because I'm, I, <laughs> I was playing it before it came out. Right, the demo. The demo and something else I'm not going to get the Nintendo Ninjas sent after me for. But I got <laughs> further. I'm about to reach where I am, like where I was in a previous playthrough. And I'm just like, man, I don't care. I'm just still like really enjoying this. And I'm like, it's just really good, really well thought out in like a lot of ways. But I can't speak on Tears of the Kingdom because I feel like maybe like an apples to oranges situation where it's like you're comparing two different things. Despite the fact that I was pitching to a friend that was like it's weird because pikmin feels like it takes from elements of tears of the kingdom and breath of the wild because there are so many caves you can go into it's like explore at your own pace explore the overworld or explore the cave system all i'm saying all i'm saying is that when tears of the kingdom does it it's cool but when banjo kazooie nuts and bolts does it everyone has a conniption i'm just saying i want you to think about it thank Nick. You, yeah thank you uh john tron for that one don't call me that. I'm not no, 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 no. I'm, saying, I'm saying I I firmly believe that the main reason everyone shits on Benji Kazoo Nuts and Bolts, besides the fact that it's not like maybe the right sequel to the franchise, yeah, yeah. I a hundred percent think its basis in hate is from that old school Jontron review where he Oh, I remember it's the one of those you can tell it's a really old one because he tries not to put the game in and it does it itself. Very yeah. classic, like 2010s YouTube. Yeah, where he's like, he's like fighting the game itself and yeah. gets into a big, very epic angry video game nerd. A hundred percent, it reeks of old school YouTube, but which I love. Yeah, I do. It's got this like charm of like, man, this dude did this when he got home from like college right. or high school, and I fucking love it. But I think that's firmly where like everyone basis comes from because I I can completely understand that people can give that game shit because they've never played it. 
I've never played it, so I don't have a real opinion. I've on played it, it and like it. all jokes aside, it's pretty good. It's just a really weird sequel to Banjo Kazooie. That's that's why people hate it. Yeah, which is it, sh- it, sh- fair. it should have been Tip Top Nuts and Bolts. Why slap Banjo Kazooie? Why the fuck this? are you bringing up Tip Top? I'm quoting the JonTron review verbatim. Oh, that's upsetting. I just know who Tip Top is. He's a turtle. Why are we talking about nuts and bolts so many times today in general? That's so a many, good point. The nuts, nuts and bolts, that phrase has been said at least 10, 15 times. How many yeah, times the rest of them have been you saying nuts and balls. <laughs> <laughs> they they, so, are, they so, are at like each other's and they are like headbutting for like who, what's been said more, nuts and balls or nuts and bolts? <laughs> nuts and balls, oh. baby. Yeah, Can but I, uh, <laughs> anyways, sorry, back to, back to your Pikmin. Oh, um, I don't know. We lost the truck nuts bit, too. Oh, we oh did. We were talking about truck nuts. God, you know what? Fuck it. Of truck nuts. So, yeah. Fuck it. Re up on the truck nuts. Re up on the truck nuts. Because we, we, so we, ne- we never gave our full opinions on what's the dumbest uh, modifications. For oh, yeah. Cars that's a good are. point. Yeah, we were talking about dumb modifications to cars. Uh, we brought up the truck nuts, and we had a rather lengthy conversation about them. Just because, like, you know, people who are like, Man, I'm so straight in my masculinity, and I then they get up. I, I got two sets of balls. I got three nuts. One, one for, for me, one for my truck, and one for my pit bull dog. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then they like uh, see a dude, and another dude, like like hair for each other. Not like what? What the hell? That's that's uh, what? The, uh, uh, and then he goes and sits <laughs> in his car with six testes. <laughs> yeah, and he drinks. Yeah, he drinks his. He, he drinks, he drinks his third six monster. Truck nuts <laughs> attached <laughs> to each other. He's like wiping his tears away with truck nuts. It's like those people <laughs> where they got, they got a million different Happy Meals in their cars, but it's all just a bunch of boxes <laughs> that the truck nuts came in. Yeah, There's that's my worst. Packs. That's my worst car the modification is when nuts. you open someone's fucking car door and you just see, like, fast food bags start to fall out. I mean, I've been there. I no, okay, but there's a difference between, like, two or three you're if you're having a bad week. In, though, and there's a, a yeah, if it's a lifestyle, that's a problem. All I'm saying is if you know, like, I feel like, I feel like most people know the feeling of picking up, specifically a McDonald's, like, three at least three month old french fry out of a seat cushion in a car and just looking at it you know that pasty like whitish yellow you know exactly what i'm talking about yeah you ever eaten one asparagus dick looking i have eaten one they're not good one of the fries what oh oh, oh, hold the fucking phone i ate a cheeto off a parking lot floor my my rule of thumb is once the food isn't the original color or even close to it. I leave it alone. I've had a I man really put saw- a Dunkin' Donuts munchkin in his mouth and shoot it like a cannonball into my mouth. What is a Dunkin' Donuts munchkin? It's like a donut hole. Oh. Wait, wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. Nick, Nick's, Nick's okay, got wait. something to say. Nick's going to get cut. Speak up, buddy. What is it? I don't know if I can talk about this on a podcast, but um, I had a roommate when I was living in Colorado who um, worked at Target, and when he got off of Target one night at like 10 p.m., he, <laughs> he uh, found a bag of mysterious powder <laughs> In the lot. Yes, sir. Yes, what sir. Do you, no, he did not. He did not find it. That may have been his story. No, he, he, he found it. I swear to God, he came home and he said he found it. He picked, Dude, showed me this little dime bag. Jackpot. And he goes, I'm going to do it. And I said, <laughs> no, don't do it. That's stupid. And he said, no, I'm going to do it. And then he snorted it. Oh, what, what happened? happened? What yeah, happened yeah, you can't leave him? the story what there. To him? Uh, because what's in the bag is never explained, so we don't know what it is. It could be fucking Pop fentanyl. Rocks, for all I know. I mean, we oh, never, we went two different directions. We, we never... We never saw him again. <laughs> <laughs> he, he disappeared. He a blip, like a bubble. <laughs> that motherfucker cross dissolved out of my life. <laughs> it was Jackson. Um, <laughs> Wait, I'll, that sense, the I'll censor the name. That the, that's the, Are we allowed uh, to talk about that? Uh, we'll censor I'll, the name. I'll, that's you, the, you don't have, the, you don't have to. The, that's all Gannon Worm said. If you want to open on a podcast, I don't care. But like, I mean, let's just call it he's a pedophile. Yeah. yeah. A pedophile. Pet- pedophiles snort things off the ground. I, I, I yeah. Expected. It was an upper. That is what we determined. It was an upper. But um, what type of upper it was, we didn't know. <laughs> this motherfucker coming in here with the terms upper, I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. It just means it's better than a lefty, am I right? Or a righty. Of sorts. Drug, drugs that make you bounce instead of slouch. Okay, I was gonna say I'm like I'm like oh, that's what I was slouch. assuming it was, but that seems rehearsed. I'm assuming, like, you said no, that. I, I, ju- I was thinking. Uh, okay. I was All right. Okay. Downer. Okay. I, I'm Adder- quick, like, is Adderall yeah. a downer? You're, you're quick. You're zippy. Adderall is oh. an upper. It's like I'm taking uppers. Hyper, between... like more like fixation okay, so on this it. This is a very uh, this is a very fun fact. Uh, the diff- Adderall, the chemical compound for Adderall is um, dexamphetamine, um, and what that is is literally a methamphetamine with two of them. 
Yeah. Yeah, like, it's just it's meth. Like, it's like it's meth. meth light. No, yeah. it's it's more like meth light. It's meth light. Yeah. Yeah. Meth light. <laughs> Fucking or maybe, maybe that's just how it's um, digested, though, because it's, you know, a uh, pill and meth you smoke. So maybe the smoking just makes you it. You smoke meth? Adderall. Yeah. I well, don't... you can do meth a couple different ways, I'm you pretty sure. You can smoke Adderall. Yeah, I'm sure. You can snort meth. You can snort Adderall. Fun fact. I don't know why I know this, um, but I'm pretty sure something like 90% at least of all uh, street like Molly is just meth. No, yeah, that, that, that's, for true. that's very true. Same yeah, for um, street Adderall. I mean, yeah, almost all the drugs you get like off the streets that are like in pill form. Uh, they're probably not what it says. In it. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 get pills off the street if you want to buy pills. Maybe just don't buy pills unless they're from a registered yeah, pharmacist who pills. has your pills. prescription. I was gonna say I was ta- I was talking to Dan about this when we um, friend of the pod <laughs> friend of the pod Dan and <coughs> we um. We're going. Bless you. I I coughed. I I had a funny little tickle in my throat. I still want to bless you. I. I, So we were at a gas station, and (laughs) I, of course, like walked over and I seen these fucking rhino pills, and I was like, oh, (laughs) (laughs) fucking classic (laughs) cock pill, like rhino Uh, rock hard, like seventeen hours of pure vigor. I like. I don't think anyone should be hard for more than maybe like an hour wait, max. What? Wait, 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 wait. More than an hour. Yes. yes. Guys, I got something to tell you. No, no, Is that no, where the no, table's no, at a no. fucking angle? I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I, I thought I just had like a bum leg on it or something. I was so confused. With this I don't shit know why this reminded me. Of this remember that kid in high school who had the nickname Tripod? That was fucked up. Oh my god, I love the nickname tripod. No, it's hysterical, but like to be walking around calling like a sixteen-year-old kid tripod. I do remember that vaguely. Who was that? Uh, it was um. We thought it was show names, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. There, there. It was tripod. tripod. It was tripod. Tripod knows. Tripod's not watching this. We'll talk about that later. I want to figure out who that was. We're gonna talk about it later. Like we're gonna come back to it. No, right. I feel well, no, I feel I mean, like I'm the moment saying, Nick I'm started talking about pod. meth, I'm like, all right, from like Nick talking about meth, all right, I'll cut it back to here. Fucking tripod. I'm like, all right, well, <laughs> the, the Patreon cut has not ended a of, yet. A lot of Patreon exclusives. Yeah, hey, spot, we haven't said sure. anything off color. We're just giving information. <laughs> yeah, like Nair. <laughs> we want to. We want to talk. To, okay, how many of you guys have seen the Nair video yet? That's, I have, but that's only it's old news. Showed me. Nair. So like Nair is a um. Yeah, it's like an ointment of sorts that makes your hair fall out like you got some sort of illness. What the fuck? Yeah, what, kind, what kind of tangent was that? Was I was going to say cancer, but that sounded like, like a, I don't know, don't a little... Have, yeah, like, you, what? you don't have an illness because you're taking Nair. That's why your hair is... Well, I'm just... I was going to say it makes your hair fall out like you're on chemo, but that just sounded a little insensitive. All right, I shouldn't have inquired. Like... <laughs> I shouldn't have... I should have just let it go. I was Boy. trying to be... I was okay. trying to be nice. <laughs> Try... To who? <laughs> To the cancer people. <laughs> people with cancer. <laughs> yeah. I, how do I how do I make a chemo joke without offending the cancer people? That's why I chose you, not to. You, yeah, you are sick. We can't hear your thoughts, man. Well, I know, but it was better. This than is this is beyond a Patreon cut. This is for our eyes only now. <laughs> look, look, I, I didn't say anything off color. All I was saying uh, is that you know it's a known fact that when you are on chemotherapy, it radiates you and your hair falls out. I was gonna liken it to that, but I just thought that that seemed a little too off color, and so I tried to drop it. But some of people, you know, some of the people here just like can't let something go, and they have to drag me out, oh, and they have to start putting their fingers in places they don't belong and then my hair falls out because i have some sort of illness we didn't ask you to explain it again is this john's (laughs) (laughs) is this john's like john's like john's John's, like confession moment where he's like guys i got the results it's not cancer all they wrote down on my paper was some kind of illness (laughs) they wouldn't tell me (laughs) they they wrote illness and it was just a big bold question mark (laughs) In Sans Sheriff so, font. Something's wrong. Beyond they put some glasses on me and went, "Oh man, you're ill as frick." And I said, "Oh my, oh, I'm just Jimmy Stewart again. Fuck, I'm so sorry. I can't. He lives in me. He lives in my brain." We're cutting out every single Jimmy Stewart joke in this video. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. No, and, the, and the, most of the cancer bit. Jimmy Stewart. I think, it, yeah, like for, I tripods, like the furthest I'm keeping this shit in. <laughs> Look, okay, I didn't okay. say anything. Let's uh, fuck it. Wipe the slate clean. What's, what the fuck are we talking yeah, about? Cancer. Talking? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Chocolate Mics. I for, I fuck. I feel like there was something we were talking about. 
I don't remember. <laughs> Not the sink point. clap. Oh uh, no. Okay, so we were talking. We were talking about truck nuts. <laughs> They're going too far back. <laughs> Fuck me. We gotta move we got, forward. We gotta, we gotta go. No, forward we were talking about truck nuts, and then we were talking about um taking pills and putting things in your body. Oh, rhino pills. Because oh, I, I started to- talking about eating okay. old rhino, French fries, rhino, which rhino. apparently is a no go. Okay. I was gonna say Cancer like. Is Oh, so now it's not cool to have cancer. Yeah, bet you're making all the cancer I patients feel like shit. That's my bad. I'm sorry. It's okay to have cancer. All right, and we're starting right. Yes, it is. Here. So my friend Dan went to. Where'd he go? Fuck you! I didn't he say went, anything. We went to, to go. A, we went to a gas station that's really close by my house, and we, as one does, we just walked up to the thing that says just Rhino Pill, and like all those fucking weird names, just like Super Sperm Man, or like some <laughs> super horse sperm man, or some horse shit like that, and it's just like yeah, like it lasts super long, or like whatever the fuck. And one of Dan was like, "Hey, I remember when I had one of those when I was younger," and. What? And I was what? like, elaborate more. And he was like, well, what's weird is that when I had it, and I, I took it and I was just like, he was like, man, like this boner feels fucking incredible. Wow. Like every average Joe does when they right, have an erection. Right. That's what I say every time I get a boner. This boner feels absolutely incredible. Whoa. Holy shit, man. This is a crazy boner. I'm... It's, God, I hate waking up next to you guys. Like, whenever we have sleepovers. <laughs> but... It like he said he did this thing he he did this like hand motion wave in front of his face fuck hit the mic and then he saw like a trail effect as if he was like running in pizza tower or something Holy shit. and then That's he looked uh... and then that way was taken off the market and then he did some research on it. he was like it's he's like it was pretty interesting when I found that that those pills had a very high connection with Molly <laughs> <laughs> so he was just like huh. What a pill! <laughs> what like, a that's, pill. With the, that's what the nine thousand stood for. Molly. Yeah, <laughs> rhino <laughs> pill. <laughs> so here, here's the question: What's what's safer, street meth, or oh. Molly? Or, sorry, sorry, or rhino pills? Rhino pills. I don't even know if rhino pills are safer, man. There's so many things <laughs> they have on the. There's so I, many fucking little blurbs that are like, oh man, your your blood pressure is just gonna go crazy. I always just thought you took one and your your uh, your little wiener just took on the form of a rhino horn, you know? I'm pretty sure it's tapered. To, I'm pretty sure it's pointy. Bo- it's supposed to be uh like also, sold for uh, money. Made of ivory. It makes you horny. That's as what well, I'm thinking. I'm fairly sure. I don't get it. Like uh, what's the, what's the what's the word for a food that makes you horny? An aphrodisiac. An aphrodisiac. Uh, but also horny as in a rhino. True. True. Do you get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. Do you it. get the joke? I, I, I get that bad boy. Yeah. I remember one time my brother, uh, we were we were in uh we were in church, and I was like seven, and my brother just learned this funny new joke. He's like, you know why why uh why do rhinos have so much sex? It's because they're always horny. And he just you know he thought it was funny, so he started telling it to the church congregation. That's not a joke you tell to the church oh, that's, congregation. That's interesting. I wouldn't walk up to like Fran Mansfield and say, "Hey, no, nah, I'd it's not I, in time and place." I'd I'd go into church and be like, "Guys, why do I, why do all the ladies love Jesus? Because he was hung like this." <laughs> 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 all right, that you, is. You guys, you guys think Jesus was packing or? <laughs> like on a real note, is that on a real note, what, what, um, what, what, what are our opinions? Well, about? okay, so I guess you would have to. If you're talking scientifically, we would have to talk about the average penis size um, in the Middle East at that time. I doubt we have that information on hand. Man, I'm not Nick, going off stats, up. bro. I'm just going off vibes. Oh, How big okay. do you think Jesus' dick was? I th- um, above average. Yeah, above but not average. by much. Above average, but yeah. not by much. I feel like he. he I would say I like seven. Know, you ever looked at his loincloth? I don't see much poking out. I would see seven. Wait, I think. I think. No, Jesus dude, had a dude micro Nick, I, I don't give. A, I don't. You guys want me to actually look stuff up? I need someone's phone because mine's bad. All right. You know what? I, I think. I think I'm. Fun. You know, I think I'm gonna be more impressed with the fact of like, all right, who was keeping cock size length records in the Middle East in this time, like, and it saved. It's a long shot. Yeah. Because like that's, the, that's actually what the Rosetta Stone was. They read it so wrong. Yeah, they. It was weird because yeah, they were like, "Oh, it's not the Rosetta Stone; it's the Rosetta's bone." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it too early or too yeah. late to quit the podcast? 
Get I mean, the you fuck have out. no room to talk after the cancer. That was that. that what do you mean? <laughs> you can't keep bringing it up. Look, I yeah, didn't I, say anything okay, wrong. Okay, no, we're not talking about. It. We're not talking about. It. What? <laughs> yeah, Rizzo, I like that shot. Keeps trying to save him. I was well intentioned. Here, what, what, what is your opinion on Jesus' dick, though? Jesus' dick, big or small. Above average, I guess I'll just say he's. So okay, wait. Here's my question. Here's my question. Jesus was Jewish. Above average as well. Jesus, yeah, but not like yeah. So Jesus was Jewish, yes. Jesus was Jewish. Yeah. Meaning the man was circumcised. Yes. Most likely. yeah. Okay, so here's my question. It's gonna affect length. So where that were they? No, 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 no. This is not. This. Sorry, go on. No, no, no. Okay, so here's the question. Let me not interrupt. So what did they do with the foreskin, and would that be considered a holy item? Not at the time. Nobody really. I mean, Jesus wasn't incredibly popular and like you know i'm not saying at the time hundreds but i'm just saying would you consider that a holy item would you consider that like like the like the spear of long you could like the like the fucking um i don't know the ark of the covenant jesus's foreskin you could find jesus's foreskin and like date it back to jesus somehow do you think if you think i think that would be under like the pope's grave or something that's what i'm saying that'd be a relic in like a catholic church which is something they do so okay but do you know that like catholic churches will have relics that are like holy figures like fingers and stuff yeah and yeah stuff. so here's another and question for you the altar. here is a question Why? so you know as the scripture says jesus died and then he came back when he came back all the holes in his hands were fixed you know yeah healed did he get his foreskin back that's a good question what will we even go as far back to say that he could have potentially had his umbilical cord back as well well no because that would be does he have did he ever have an umbilical well, I guess well he, yeah, he did. Birthed. He was birthed, yeah. but that's the thing that falls off naturally. I heard he hatched, but <laughs> I guess I, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't know enough about like from like animals because like I've seen deer in my backyard that have been born and still have their umbilical cords. Well, right, but, but those are like, younger. It yeah. falls off in time, which so that is something that I would assume would not be part of the issue. But all I'm saying is that you know a typical man, their foreskin doesn't just fall off at some point. So that is a scar. Jesus' scars supposedly were healed when he came back. You know, no holes in his hands, none in his feet, no crown of thorns, blood, anything like that. So he was fully healed. So do you think his foreskin came back? I'd say so, yeah. But, okay, that's, now that's, here's that's... a question. Here's another question. We're supposed to believe that, you know, if you're subscribing to, you know, Christian, you know, uh, literature, um, man was created in God's image. Jesus was a Jewish man. He was, you know, the son of God created in his own image. So at that point, the scripture says that you should be circumcised. So that brings the question that when God sent Jesus back to earth, there's a possibility that if, you know, according to Jewish scripture, I understand that Christianity is not Judaism, but it is based in Judaism. So there's an argument to be made that either God sent Jesus down in his image and kept his foreskin off. Because that's what uh, Judaism mm-hmm. taught. So there's a bit of a mix-up here. Because if he healed all his scars, he would have his foreskin. But if he wanted to stay in the supposed Jude, uh, Jewish image, then he would uh, he would not have it back. You're you're telling me the Bible's got inconsistencies. I'm just. It's not inconsistencies what? so much. I just want to know what your thoughts are. I don't know. I don't you know, know what my I, thoughts are. I'd but... have to. If we got one Maybe? of my friends on here, I'm sure they would find some like crazy way to be like that's wrong because this i just i'm not i don't have an opinion on it one way or the other i'm just curious my uncle mike was on here he'd debate you about this i'm like (laughs) yeah yeah don't fuck with uncle Uncle mike Mike on this uncle mike okay i would actually i would love to have this conversation with like a devout like a devout catholic and also like a devout i i don't know what the word is for someone who is of the jewish uh, faith and in Oh, I was going to say an evangelical Christian. I would or... love to, I would just love to get a table of people together from Judaism, Christianity, all the different subsets of each and just have this conversation. I'm sure they I wouldn't think... be interested because it's a nothing conversation, but I, I want to know their thoughts. I They'd think we feel offended. Yeah, Nick, what are your thoughts? Hold on, he's got to get over to the mic. I think Jesus was hung. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, okay, but do you think he came back with his foreskin? Nah, like this he, is important. Nah, he 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 said his answer. All right, all right. He's thinking. He's brewing. Let him cook. He's thinking. He's thinking. Let him cook. Yes. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, so. Okay. Affirmative. There's the consensus. That's I, every religion. I sit down. Nick gave his answer. <laughs> well, here's the thought. Here's the other thing, though, is Jesus was of the Jewish faith. Yes. 
and Christianity wasn't something that was really well and truly formed until after his passing. Sure, they followed him and his new teachings, but it wasn't Christianity at that point, to my knowledge. Um, that could be incorrect. But, so, in Christianity, it is not the same thing where you, you know, you're circumcised. That has its basis in Judaism, if I'm not mistaken. True. So, at that point, the new religion hadn't been created, so to speak. It was in its forming stages. So, the rules hadn't been really set. So, I say that it's it's anyone's guess. It's definitely up for debate. I think he came back with his foreskin. Whether or not I'd say you so. Should, whether or not you should debate it, that's a whole other question. These are the things that are on my mind. <laughs> I'm confident. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look, you start bringing up Jesus's penis, and uh, you know you're talking about how big his dick is, and you're mad at me for asking genuinely interesting questions. Hey man, I never said I was mad. For the record, Jesus had a 7.23 inch penis. That's pretty good. Hard. I think he had a little dick. And I think, <laughs> I think he was a shower. Small little baby dick. <laughs> his loincloth. He's always in a loincloth, and man, I ain't never seen nothing poking out, man. Maybe he's just a serious <laughs> grower. But... You think Jesus whacked it? It's not a sin. I Why mean, not? I'm pretty sure it is. Does it say? I, I don't mean, think it's a sin to touch yourself. Somebody says it somewhere, and they got it from somewhere. Yeah, but I don't think it's it, definitely been said. I'm sure, but I think that's by more of like people who are ordained, you know. Well, really? I, oh yeah, I've, I mean, I've, I've I mean tra- people I, high up people have said masturbations. It never says that well, in the Bible. I, I don't believe. I hear a I'm lot. Sure, it probably doesn't, but you know, uh, that's not. Or the church might say it. Uh, I say like I've heard people who have been like ex youth pastors be like. Yeah, I applied to get a job as like a youth pastor, and they asked me how much like I touched myself. Whoa, and that's a weird question to ask yeah, someone. And, and and they also ask like, hey, do you have like a partner or like a wife? Because they're essentially asking for them to work with the church for free, Ugh. or like hi- or like double hire someone. I hate that shit. Yeah. And uh, what's another crazy thing? Um, like, what are you trying to obtain from that like question? Like is so, you think someone that's applying for a job at a church is gonna be like, yeah, you know, I jack off every once in a while. Yeah, and then you they, know, they, they just, the, like, they're they, not gonna say when the mood strikes. True. And also, it's, I'm sorry, it's not like, like okay, so all I'm saying is that if Jesus didn't jerk off, he definitely had nocturnal emissions. Nocturnal? Uh, wet dreams. Oh. I think that's also like. I mean, if he's the son of God, he might not nut at all, man. Well, that's the thing. Know. He's the son of God, but he's also fully human. If the man bleeds, the man comes. There's a whole uh, bunch of like debate between that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, between I was gonna say, well, we are on a wildly we're different. Crazy, <laughs> we're a wildly different. We were, we were talking, talking about, about bar- we were talking about Barbenheimer last time, and now we're talking now about we're talking like about to Jesus make sure stroke, Jesus' man. foreskin is like still there. And like, I'm sorry, I know it's kind of a crass topic, but I just genuinely found it interesting. I do find this. I do find this interesting too. I'm just like, yeah. man, from the last podcast to this one, this is gonna be fucking Did you guys wild. Did you guys know that um. Quite like Barbie and Oppenheimer. Yeah. I'm um, talking, again, about just weird, like, things in Christianity. Um, did you know, so, okay, following the the Christian faith in the literature, um, if, you know, you subscribe to that, um, it is said that, supposedly, Jesus died for the sin of all men. Yeah. And so, you know, they could go to heaven. The implication being that no one was, uh, you know, devout enough to get into heaven in the first place. Everyone went to hell. And so, we have like two minutes left, by the way. oh, we got two minutes. I'll make this quick. Okay. So basically the whole thing was like, oh, well, once Jesus died, then people were allowed to be into heaven. But what about all the people who died before? And, uh, basically the thing that they came up with was apparently the idea is that after he died, Jesus went to hell and did a jailbreak. My motherfucker jail broke his iPhone and got to heaven. Like, seriously, oh, that man. is, that's like, My that's, man. that's the idea. That's crazy, man. I want to see that. I want to see that movie. The Jesus yeah. jailbreak from hell, where he's picking out like Jeffrey Dahmer and stuff. And yeah. No. Up. Wait, I said yeah way too like, early. Hey, let me get there's that so guy. much. There's so much wrong with what you just said. I mean, man, there's definitely a Jeffrey Dahmer at some point before. Oh my, my did that. My, he, he broke him out. He broke him out. He didn't break out everyone. Jesus, I'm sure. He's like, I eh, oh, man, I think that's what happened. We have all their sins. Now off the topic of Jesus's foreskin. Sorry about that. Um, I'm gonna launch into talking about some of. Uh, the media we've been consuming. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Well, I guess do you want to give a qu- another quick rundown about Barbie and Oppenheimer. Like, do you want to give like another quick, quick review? I'll make it real quick. Yeah. Um, legit took up a whole thirty minutes. Yeah, last sorry time. about Hilarious. that. I'm, it was good, man. It was yeah. good. It got very elaborate. Yeah. So, okay, both really great films. 
I think Oppenheimer's slightly stronger, uh, but also I realized that Barbie was not necessarily made for me. I thought Barbie was great. Um, I thought the cinematography, set design, and all the performances were phenomenal. The same can be said for Oppenheimer. They're both phenomenal films. See them both. Best performance from each? Uh, Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie are really kind of in a tie okay, in, okay. in Barbie. So Just for personal thing. preference, I'd say Ryan Gosling. Um, and as for Oppenheimer, that's a really hard sell. It's probably between Killian Murphy um, and Robert Downey Jr. Mm. You yeah. said you really like Emily Blunt, too. Right? Yeah, Emily Blunt knocks it out Emily of the park. Blunt. She has a smaller role, but she goes crazy. Really? She goes crazy. I didn't even know she was in the movie. That's a really star stuff. Yeah, she's uh, Oppenheimer's that's wife. Crazy. Okay. Yeah. I thought that was Florence Pugh, or is that the person he has an affair with? Yes. Oh, yes. wow. I guess that's spoilers if you don't know the Oppenheimer. Our... It's spoilers for real world history. <laughs> I said this in our it's little um, bit of uh, recording that got deleted. But, uh, <laughs> fuck you, Ant Dude, if you're watching. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> we're bringing said back this up the, the end of the fucking last clip. <laughs> yeah. Times two, baby. <laughs> dude, Nick <laughs> really hates player. Ant Dude. <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> no, Ant Dude, I, Ant Dude, I love you. We'll, we'll get back to. I'll bring it up when we dude, get. Dude, you got Ant Dude's little fella up there. He loves a he loves a Kirby. I was gonna say I forget the fucking blue dude's name. His name like Glu- Arlo Gl- Gluey. <laughs> That's a Gluey. I, I think it's yeah, dude. It's, it's Gumbly it's Simpson. Gumbo. It is Gooey. You're absolutely right. It is Gooey. And man, I I'm actually gonna talk about something that Arlo is in. It's actually really cool, I recommend. But we'll get to that later. Ryan, what have you seen, done, oh, watched, what listened to? Recently? What have you been listening to? Recently, uh, listened? I've been really getting into Slaughter Beach Dog. Yeah, I remember it's you were really, talking really, about really, that. Really good mm-hmm. uh, band is the creator of Modern Baseball, which is a fairly kind of popular indie band. Isn't it, mid- isn't it Midwest? Or it's mi- Midwestern emo type beat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, the leader from that, the creator of that, went off, did his own thing. Really good music. Fucking awesome. Your Cat, standout uh, song, I think, is the other one. It, it goes really hard. But what I've been watching recently, I'm watching a lot of One Piece, man. Oh no! Did we talk about that in the first episode? I don't know. So. No, 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 we didn't. Into it yet? Maybe, maybe like you like talked about it. Or something. It might know. have been yeah. us like pre-talking about the show. But yeah, really, really been into it. I've been into a lot of anime recently, and One Piece is fucking. It goes hard. It yeah, is, it that's... is worth it. I don't know what people are talking about with this whole. It gets good at. I mean, okay. I think it's a joke. I, I, I'm not even a hundred episodes in. I can't say I like really, really watched One Piece, but like the people that watched it through and say it gets good at like episode 300 you're fucking insane you're you're insane it's really good right off the bat all the storylines are just like good as fuck really God. good themes like anti-imperialistic really uh just aggressive towards cops pro pirate shit. yeah <laughs> pro, pro pirate in like the purest sense uh the animation goes really hard storylines i really like the power system as well the devil fruit type oh theme, yeah, yeah, where, yeah you know you have these immense powers but you're he you can't, can't swim. swim. And, and, you're, you're and you're a pirate. <laughs> he, took really a, cool. he took a bite of gum gum. <laughs> he took a bite of gum gum. <laughs> <laughs> I underestimated him. He's a devil fruit. It's so fucking Pour good. some water on him. Could, yeah. lo- could, could, I mean, could, could Luffy, is that his name? Yeah, Luffy. Mon- monkey. Luffy monkey, D. Monkey, monkey, oh, monkey, monkey D. Luffy. Luffy. Yeah, monkey D. Luffy. Luffy. Could he stretch his entire body around the whole earth? There's got to be a Maybe limit. the power scaling goes that hard, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe not right now. What's his cloud thing? I've seen people like do like the cloud oh, monkey. Like, yeah, no, oh, probably whoops. like a big spoilers. Big, uh, big he tube. he jumped into cloud. He, he became cloud man instead of gum man. Cloudy D Luffy. Now he's just gaseous. He's not elastic. Yeah. He can just fucking go anywhere. Cumulus de Luffy. <laughs> Cumulus Luffy. Cumulus de Luffy. That sounds like a fucking Stratus J.K. Rowling name. Oh, God. oh welcome does. to Hogwarts. This oh, is Cumulus man. Luffy. He's going to be teaching you spells and shit. In this spells one, you stretch your arm out three fucking feet long. Harry Potter, you broke in your knickers again. Oh, oh God, it's Voldemort. Thank you, Stamper. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you keep comparing? <laughs> yeah, actually, Juan, what was that? That was my Avada Kedavra, bro. <laughs> I, I thought you just, like, went primal. Hey, I did not know what the fuck doing, you were doing. doing uh, Harry Potter impressions. That's like the... <laughs> you wait, do you, uh, dude, my favorite Harry, goes my favorite voice in the entire Harry Potter series is um, it's in the third movie, Prisoner of Azkaban, when they're sitting in class, and, uh, you know, Ron's like, Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, Hermione. 
Um, and they're all just like having a, you know, having I, a laugh. I, my, I, and the new teacher, wait, 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 wait. I, got, I, got a, I was going to say some and really the new, horrendous the new teacher, shit. The new teacher walks in. He's got the funniest mm-hmm. fucking voice. He walks in. He I says, uh, uh, hello, guys. Uh, I'm the new defense against the dark arts teacher. Uh, I'm Jimmy Stewart. This was a setup. You've been fooled. I knew you saw it coming from a mile away, but I'm not sorry. I didn't see it. I didn't expect it until you did it, and I was like, wow. I was not paying attention. I was um, making chicken dinner references over here. I was making chicken dinner. I was over here referencing fucking. Uh, you what you don't realize is that I'm whatever. the only one who edits this shit. So this is gonna be a giant bar and tone censor bleep over what you just said. Hey, you know what? That's fine. Every time I bring up Jimmy Stewart, it's not for the audience. It's for me and for you. What's up, Nick? Just so everyone knows, no one will be hearing John saying Jimmy Stewart shit tonight. Uh, I we'll, tend we'll, to disagree. We'll leave that part in. <laughs> Just as a disclaimer. Uh, have you ever met my friend uh, Harvey? That'll be a disclaimer at the beginning oh. of the videos. We'll have we'll have Nick's soundbite right there. Just so you know, we, we will, you will not hear any Jimmy Stewart impressions. <laughs> from John I'm, gonna, first. I'm gonna make that like my text tone. Uh, I'm an unstoppable force. Uh, but uh, but Garrett, what's uh, what's some, some media you've been you've been up to? I feel like I've been like watching. Oh, what have I been doing? I, I just. Remember you were telling me you saw uh, "It's a Wonderful Life." Yeah, that wasn't that great. But I actually just what? beat Donkey Kong oh, Country uh, too. <laughs> I just oh, beat Donkey Kong. Diddy's Quest. I, yeah, I beat Diddy's Conquest. Okay. I beat it on the Switch. So there was, there were some fucking moments when I like I had to like rewind time. I was like, that's uh, bull. There, I, I, I'll admit it. I like, but no, still, like, fun. there, there were moments when I'm like. I don't want to like do myself dirty like that. Like at the very like the very end of the game, there's a fucking race with a parrot that you have to do, oh. which is a really good, awful bullshit level because this fucking asshole like parrot like beats the level like completely perfectly. And it's like motherfucker, and then just some cheap bullshit can get you. But there's just times, especially like, the final fight with K. Rule is fucking ass. That's but it's like good ass my philosophy has Bodacious. always been talking about like save states and shit like that anyone who shits on you for that is an asshole whatever makes you enjoy the game more is the way you should play it what did you say it was save states, save states. it's like uh, in a lot of retro video games they operate on the arcade system with lives and shit and that's like where game overs come from okay. it's basically a holdover from the arcade systems because if you you know have lives then that's a reason for you to give more money to the machine yeah. Um, and it just was a oh, holdover yeah. because that's typical game design at the time. And eventually, you know, we've moved away from that. That's why, you, like, lives are basically at this point in video games kind of a dead concept. Only in Lego games. I, it, <laughs> I, I think it, it can only work. I think it can work in games like DKC if it kicks you back to the start level. Yeah, there's definitely a time like you lose like it. you lose your checkpoint. It's like it has like mm-hmm. the intensity that can be like in a Dark Souls thing where it's like, oh shit, I'm at the end of the level. I see the arrow that shows me at the end. But they're good, but it's rare. They're gonna do some fuck shit to yeah. me, and they're gonna well, throw like a Kremlin at me. That's the thing, though, is like in something like a Dark Souls or an Elden Ring, it's and you don't have lives, you can still die, and then you you know you respawn at your latest yeah. checkpoint. But in something like an older an older game like DKC, um, you can spend like forty five minutes like yeah. getting through like because because there it operates spe- on save points, not checkpoints. Yeah, so like. Mm-hmm. It will take you four to five levels till you reach a safe point. Mm-hmm. Like, you can get through, like, I think in DKC 1, you can, like, there's a safe point, a level, and then the boss. And you have to do two more levels yep. in the second world, and then you get the save state. So, essentially, so you if you died that on that save... Over, over, so if you over. Th- he's a beaver, I'm So, sorry. it's like, yeah, you lose three levels and a boss stage... Because you gave yeah, up on, because you lost life. Wait, wait, no, which, yeah, his name's Naughty. His name's Naughty. Yeah, Naughty the Beaver. He's in Banjo Kazooie, <laughs> which is why, yeah, like, b- but here's the other shitty thing is that I tried, like, okay, let me try. I beat it purely on my Wii DKC mm-hmm. one, and it was weird because I had to use save states because I stocked up on lives on the first like stage so I can treat it like it was truly meant to be played, and there was. Moments when then you'd go back on the save file, and it would be like, oh, kick you back down to three lives. Every time you open up the yeah. fucking save yeah. file, I was like, dude, I had 30. I grinded for this shit, mm-hmm. and you're not, like, respecting me? Fuck you, I'll that's, save state my shit. That's the thing. is like, I've got, like that. I've got DKC on a physical cartridge for the SNES, and I've tried to play it, and I at some point I will get through it, but it's seriously taxing when you get through, like, a bunch of levels, and you really, like... You put some effort into it, and then you die to some bullshit, and you have to go back four levels. I turn off the game. So that's a pretty notorious thing with Donkey Kong games in general. Uh, just a lot of old retro games in particular. And, yeah, like uh, Donkey Nick, Kong's one of the nice ones because you have a save state. A lot of games you don't have save states. Yeah. You die, you go straight to the beginning. 
like Sonic One, Ninja, yeah. Ninja Gaiden, mm-hmm. the TMNT game. Fuck the TMNT game. Yeah, ba- I, Battle I Toads. Like, I know. Yeah. I, I know the reference in the fucking epic rap battle of the history thing, like your NES game. Because like we can't be beat. beat. Uh, I, that game is I have fucking heard hard. It's hard yeah. yeah, it's ridiculous. I I don't have it's it anymore, but I used to have game it. Would just be notoriously hard. For, uh, Dude, there's so of many of that. Games like, had a fucking grip on the industry in the '80s. It's like licensed. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. what? Like, isn't like that? I think I played the Dick Tracy game at one point, and that game is <laughs> fucking horse up. ass. But nobody knows about it because just nobody fucking played but the Dick oh Tracy God. game. Did you hear about what happened with the Dick Tracy? Uh, there's no way. You oh got it. no, I do know what you're talking. Okay. I watched Mega Sixty Four. They're talking about no. It might have been you or what someone that it? brought it up. Um, John can correct me if I'm wrong, but there's this dude who has the who has the license for Dick Tracy, yep. and what he does is that. Every and single day, he has to use it within like a fifteen year or something yeah, time limit. Yeah, because he made the movie, like yes. the nineties movie, and he mm. played Dick Tracy in that movie, oh. like the really old one. Yeah, and it's like you know about um, Marvel with like the Fantastic Four movie they mm. had to make just so they didn't lose the rights. Yeah, yeah, that same deal with Dick Tracy. But I'll let I'll let Garrett explain what he did um, so, in the past couple months. What he does every year to the day, the day it's about to the day it's about to expire. He does a thing on TV where he plays as Dick Tracy in an interview, which it's basically just this fucking wow. Zoom interview. Which, which uh, like it, it's, it's a Zoom interview. Spite? It's so I don't, he can keep the license, but just like so he it's can. just to be a dickhead. And he, <laughs> and he plays as Dick <laughs> Tracy, and he's like, "Bam, license renewed. Dude. You cannot take Dick Tracy from me." Who the fuck right is there. asking for Dick Tracy? Like, I get it. He's a cool character. He has that. a very so important foothold in comics and and media, but just like. Dude, Man. no one's clamoring for Dick Tracy yeah, rights right now. And that's his thing, you know? Yeah. You just can't... I feel yeah, like that's his thing for Dick being Tracy, the, world's, the world's biggest Dick Tracy no, mouth dude. breather on planet Earth. No, no, no. Fuck this ding dong. Dude's just so insecure. He's like has such a, a belated ego or something that he's like... He knows that if he doesn't do it, nobody else is going to do it. And it's, you know, nothing's going to happen. And yeah. he cannot live with it. I, I sure can't let like Dick Tracy... Can't. I can't let Dick die. He sure yeah. made himself notorious for it. Yeah, sure it's hysterical. lived up to his name. It is hysterical. Yeah, sorry to side tangent again. No, it was fucking great. But the only other two things I've really been trying to consume when I can... Oh, my God, I forgot. I finished the first season of Unicorn Warriors Eternal, if anyone knows what the hell that is. No, I don't. That that is Gendy Teriyot... Gary, oh, Tartakovsky? Tartakovsky's... Or Tarko- um, yeah, sorry. Is that the guy that made Primal and Samurai Jack? Primal and Samurai Jack, Jack. Okay, yes. Okay. It's his yeah, yeah. newest... Please tell me that shit was fantastic, Garrett. I have been seeing commercials for that. I'm so excited for that. It's, all, it's it. all out on HBO Max, and it's interesting hmm. because i was watching i was like sounds different it, mm-hmm. the concept is cool these people are basically their souls like they have band together to defeat this just embodiment of evil okay. but it but it basically lives forever so they have to keep having their souls put into this giant robot and then their souls like at a random point in time when the when the evil awakens the robot just comes back and shoots the soul into just an unsuspecting person and they're oh, like, oh, yeah. my entire personality is gone because I am now that basically the really enti- interesting, which was great. And then the main, uh, uh, like the other part of it, like the uh, part of meat of it is that one of the people's personalities doesn't get swapped over. So she has like a third new personality that's not oh. the old soul and not the past her. It's a combination of the two. I see. And mm-hmm. she's like constantly at wit's end with herself. She's like, what the fuck am I? Yeah. And there's more questions on morality where it's like. Yo, are like who are we? Are we just going to like die and go back to our old selves? Like what happens once we beat the yeah. evil? We're going to die. And like that's the coolest part about it. The lamest part about it Smack the fuck out of that bitch. Good. Oh, we've all been fuck. There. I there's, just hit the yeah, table. <laughs> I'll join the club. But there was but like there's moments where it's just like about um like this dude who's like the the prince of the elves and this like basically a witch who is like all part of the team and it's just like like uh, melinda is their name i can't can't remember i can't remember everyone's name it's like oh yeah melinda and the the elf dude i forget his name but it's just like i'm like i'm not melinda my name is emma and it's just like Like I hate to say it, but like I, there it's just like the second half of the show gets pretty good, Mm -hmm. but the first half is just like I don't care about this drama love thing they are trying to start doing. And here's the hardest thing I had. Like I was watching this, I was like, 
what the fuck is going on? Like, I was so lost for some of it until the second half of it kicked in, and I was like, okay, it got a lot more interesting now. Sounds like you've been going. I was just about to say, I'm getting, I was really, like, since you started talking about it, like, with, like, Giant Demon, I was getting some real uh, Evo vibes. But, I, you know, I mean, we can me watch that fucking tweet that's, like, guy who has only ever seen Boss Baby and watches the second movie. I'm getting some real Boss Baby vibes from this. I don't know if it's just because I, I Shout just... Out Shout out Nick. Shout yeah, out Nick. I don't know if it's because I just watched Evangelion not too long ago. Oh yeah, for reference, so is that Nick? Nick, uh, would you like to tell the good folks at home um, your experience with Boss Baby and also the Emoji Movie? I've watched the Boss Baby approximately twenty times, and I've watched the Emoji Movie well over fifty. That's not a joke. There was a period in time where me and Nick played a lot of League of Legends. Um, Shouldn't say that. Soul. We're gonna have to cut that. And uh, you know, every time I logged on, <laughs> death to play penalty. With him, Every time I logged on to play with him, I ask him what he's doing, you know, very cordially, you know, friendly, singing in the neighborhood type thing. And he'd say, without fail, by the way, almost every time, playing multiple times a week, I'm watching Boss Baby. Or, on the off chance, I'm watching Emoji Movie. More often it was the Emoji Movie than the Boss Baby. <laughs> yeah, that, so now we know what Nick's see, been watching. <laughs> see, Maybe maybe in his experience, how many times you watched both of them, the Emoji Movie was well in the mix. It there seemed very... There there was, was a, a fight. point in time where I could almost like recite this the script of the Emoji Movie to you, like word for word. <sighs> it's true. He he started a couple Bye, times. Felicia. So did you uh, did you did you uh, uh, like the animation? Is it a lot different. The, the okay, here's stuff? the crazy. Here's one of the most interesting parts about the show is that it takes on a mixing of styles. Okay. And it almost does it in like a current day rubber hose where oh, it's okay. like a lot of characters have like these very super expressive super thick lines and stuff which almost takes away from like some of the seriousness of it it's like the big like, serious moments of well, like he's, he's no stranger to that i mean powerpuff girls is very that's that that's uh, that okay i was gonna say yeah, i'm like i'm like Power, i was gonna say powerpuff girls was not gendy that is oh is it not oh that's uh no. craig mccracken yes sorry yes, i yeah. just was thinking it because there is similar. a strong relationship between powerpuff I girls I and, and samurai jack yeah Sorry, uh, yeah. Sorry, no, you're, Craig. No, no, you're good. But Shout um, it's Shout like it's it's a super interesting style. Like I love the style of it, and like they have these thing things at the end of the credits where they show it as if it's like a stencil drawing, which oh, is super cool. nice. And, like and, and I was just gonna say, sounds a lot like Evangelion. <laughs> and, uh, and it's just weird because like there's just moments where it's just like okay, like they're like, like yeah, like I said, like there's all like this weird. Like I was more interested in like the philosophy side, like dude, like, yeah. these people's souls are like getting swapped out. You're these people. Have, Oh fuck! I'll make it quick because I think it will last for like a couple minutes after that. But it will like like it has like this like stuff that I'm a lot more interested in, and then it gets to like this fucking police chief who's just like who's got these big nasty fucking teeth, got like this cartoonish like Popeye fucking nose hanging off of his face, and it's he's like I'm saying these these people causing a ruckus and flying about. They're magicians. We don't need to worry about them. British's finest police force are on the case. And then they all smile, and their teeth look like a fucking half-broken wooden fence. That's incredible. It's really goofy. I'm just like, I'm like, man, this shit's all over the place. But the best way I can describe it to you is that it feels like someone's D&D campaign. That's okay. what it feels like the embodiment of a show as. I don't mind that. That's like the new Dungeons and Dragons movie was very much that vein, and I really fucked yeah, with it. Yeah, I heard the Dungeons and Dragons. I, any, movie I need to see pretty it. Pretty good. It was. Like a lot of people, which it was great. I did not expect whatsoever. That's that's a blood blows my mind. Right? Yeah, it was like great. D and D, a live action D and D movie. No, like I yeah. want. I hope it gets a sequel. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's wild. I, I I've only heard good things out of it. <laughs> yeah. Which was, shout out Harlem. Like, shout, shout out. Do you want to do a dream update? Uh, I mean, I could talk about how. Only if you want it was a really to. really gross one, yeah. I mean, it, it's hard to describe, but I could talk about a dream. It's only if you want to. You guys have any dreams you need to talk about? Uh, the only dream Super I had was dream. when I meditated. I had a fucking dream. I was hanging out with my friends Josh and Madison, like, like one day ago. And then I had a dream. I was hanging out with them. And I was just like, wait a minute. I want to go back to that dream and see what we were doing when we were hanging out. And I went back to sleep, and I woke up two hours later didn't remember a fucking thing. Uh, I basically went back to sleep to just fucking go back to the void. And I was like, fuck, man. Every almost, fucking time. That's how it almost always is. Or it... Are we going right now? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Bad. But I, like, yeah. I feel like yeah. that's how it always is. It's either you fucking have a completely different dream or the same dream, but like something significantly yes. different. 
or you just don't dream at all. And it sucks. And you go back so excited. Right, yeah. right. You're praying like, to I God. I woke up for whatever reason, but I don't have to get up. I'll back to sleep. Fuck. So yeah. That's going to happen to me tomorrow. But sidebar, I when I was meditating with um, Ralph, we, like, we were doing friend this. Friend of the pod. Friend of the pod. We were doing this Zazen meditation, which is where it's like, you try as hard, like you just try to nothing about anything. Don't let anything cross your mind. Like essentially, try to stay awake while like basically sleeping. Or like, like go into that void like space of thinking, but stay being conscious. a space. Yeah, but like big, just sitting upright and just breathing. And at that point, like, I was like constantly falling in and out of like consciousness and like falling asleep. And I had like this image of like the inside of like a temple. But it's just it's just like imagine if like this, this only this table was lit. I saw three chairs in a half of like a temple on the right side and then i did this i went like that and went back and then the moment i closed my eyes or like the moment i started to like drift back into that consciousness i just saw someone hanging from the ceiling like just jeez i was just like damn and i'm out of it all right wow the, i don't know why but i'm just like this is some fucking crazily strong or imagery the, right or now. The vibe, were the vibes very daunting and scary or were the vibes I, like something I just felt like I just felt stuff. like I was not meditating properly. I was like fuck like I was so distracted. I was all over the place. I was like Ralph like let's try 15 minutes of just like pure well, silence. That's and like, part of the that thing about meditation is like one of the shit. great things about meditation is like allowing yourself to have like to drift off and there's no like punishment just as soon as you notice you're drifting off you just like, come fuck. back to it. I, yeah I, like, the moment I notice I'm drifting off like fuck no get back Stupid. But that's the thing. Think though, about nothing. That's, stupid. That's yeah. That's the whole point. Is of course you're gonna drift off. So you just have to be kinder to yourself and allow you to return to that state. I do a lot of meditation because I have anxiety. <laughs> really? Uh -huh. you, you, do, you do a lot of meditation. Yeah, all the time I have for years. Right. I knew. I knew you knew about it. I didn't. It's like something you do daily. Honestly, yeah, you, yeah. I, don't I, think, I, I don't think. When I remember uh, um, that and a lot of deep breathing exercises, meditation is is a big one. Yeah. Uh, meditative yoga for sure. It definitely helps with anxiety and stress. Yeah, I just I don't talk about it a lot. It definitely, it definitely. Does. I mean, I know you've mentioned Righteous. whenever meditation comes up, you're yeah, like supportive of it, of course. But uh, yeah, I never knew you did that day to day. That's fire. I yeah. I got into it recently, like uh, when I was just pretty, you know, depressed as you are, you know, right, as, right. as it goes, and I started to try to clear my head. It, it goes helps. pretty hard. It helps. It's nice. It's hard to get into. Yeah, that's. Uh, you know, I don't know. Do you do just like everyone. by yourself? You ever do guided meditation? I don't. I. I. I, mean, I, I I've tried it sometimes. It's just. It's hard for me to. That's it fair. fills I, my brain with something. I really sense. like guided meditation personally. There, there's yeah. one, especially like sleep meditation. That, oh yeah. Yeah, I really really like the, that. There's one on this podcast called "The Way Out Is In," which is based off a lot of Thich Nhat Hanh's teachings. And a lot of TikTok. Yeah, who has done like a lot of like was, was known funny, as like I'm a sorry. was known was known as a Zen master and like what like his like main disciple was like doing like he him and another person like lead a podcast and his like thing is just like hey let's just slowly appreciate ourselves he's like think about your tummy <laughs> it's so nice yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it's just right there it like, helps it helps you breathe yeah he goes from like your head to like your yep. ears he's like, you like slowly appreciate everything yeah, i'm just like you just take in your surroundings Which is and how so you feel strange that, that even like works and yeah. works across the board for pretty much everybody nick's getting nick's it's, getting a little coffee over there some down the wrong lung and nick's got nick's yeah got, uh, it's good stuff yeah stupid lungs no. yeah uh <laughs> ryan what <laughs> ryan what about you are you telling us you had some stupid weird dreams lungs, nick, how much time uh, we have on the camera yeah. five minutes i really had, shit my nuts i had some interesting ass dreams recently just just one that comes to mind it was i don't know the premise whatsoever frankly but i just know at some point I or someone I knew was turned into a like a flesh monster. Okay. Okay, and like, you know, like the old sci-fi shows where like the robot is like a dumpster. Oh, you talking about like uh like Forbidden Planet, like Robbie the Robot? Yeah. Yes, like Robbie the Robot, and it was like weird. There was like weird guards and stuff. It was like mechanical, and it was like this big old dumpster person. <laughs> they had eyes that were just right on the face, and but like there's no mechanical stuff going on. It's just, just flesh. It's just flesh and meat. You ever did you watch any Cronenberg films lately? I like it a lot. Like it, like it a lot. It, what, what? You watch any Cronenberg it, films lately? It's, the, it's very Cronenberg. It was. It gave me the most Cronenberg fucking vibes ever. It, it was very one of the weirdest things I've seen in dreams, which is you know a high bar for everybody. Yeah. I assume. Yeah. It was just and like the just huge eyes on either side of this just like trash can build fucking person, and they were not happy about where they were. <laughs> it was strange. Man, why why is all my skin gotta be off? <laughs> why I gotta be shaped like a cylinder? Oh, I hate it! I hate it! I'm uh, the gonk droid. 
Yeah, why I gotta look like the fucking Robbie the Robot? God damn. Uh, I had a dream recently. Uh, I don't know, maybe a week or so ago. I keep having these dreams that I'm back in uh, in school, like either elementary or high school. I don't know what that horrifying. Means. Yeah, but in this one, like mostly, oh boy, no. they're mostly high school. But this one, I was in like elementary school, but I was still my size. Like I was. That's the thing. Adult in dreams, John. I'm not in back elementary. in school. I'm just in the setting. I'm like, what am I doing here? Got hair on my dick. Yeah. And so <laughs> I'm in the elementary school, and I, it was one of those weird things where first I was watching a movie at the movie theater, and then I walked out, and suddenly I was in the <laughs> elementary school. It's like you're walking out of computer class. Yeah. Like you're just getting done with the Polar Express. Yeah. Um, but so I walk out, and I'm, in, I'm at, like, the main office area, and I have to use the restroom. Also, another restroom dream. I've been having a lot of restroom dreams, so don't worry. It's not crass. So it's one of those things that like strikes me as a little bizarre but not weird enough that i'm like shook by it but the bathroom is like you know a typical bathroom except it's in the middle of this hall space and it's got four glass windows on all sides so you're totally totally visible and so i walk in and i use the restroom i don't think much of it and i'm like all right well now i now i gotta wash my hands so i wash my hands and i go over to um to dry them and it's one of those uh like blow blow dry machines so I stick my hand out, and it turns on, and just this, it looks like almost Listerine, just starts spitting this blue sanitizing it's liquid like just, <laughs> just, just all over my fucking hand. <laughs> and it's staining me, and I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, that's really weird. And then suddenly the blow dryer's gone, and it's now a shower head. And I'm like, and I, it's, it's, motion, what yeah, the and it's fuck? motion activated, and so I'm like, trying to get under it because I'm like I just want to get clean and I, I fuck up and I just get showered in this blue f fucking cleaning shit and it's like kind of sticky and weird and viscous and I'm like trying to get it off me John let's so say you just got done like I have one of those like blue toilets he just got dipped in one of them and I, w I was wearing a white button up shirt I remember <laughs> like, fucking covered you just become the thing at the bottom of the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker became urinal a cake? piss cake. I'm becoming a piss cake uh, and so I walk out and uh shout out Miss Martin um, the high school secretary up. is there, and I'm like, "Hey, I don't know what's going on. I'm covered in blue. Is what's really what's up with that?" And they're like, "She was like, oh, it's this new cleaning thing.'" And I was like, "You gotta fix that. It's not working. I'm covered in blue." Martin and she's like, less. "No, well, in the in my dream, she was like, yeah, that's not right. We'll we'll we're gonna take that out. We're gonna put the old one back in.'" And I was like, you, dude. "I was like, thank you." Um, so I'm covered, <sighs> and, I, and this weird thing happens. And so I take off my, actually no, not yet. So then I walk over, and now I'm in the middle school building at the the ICU center, which is where they made people study during lunch. Oh, yeah, man, I thought you were talking about the oh, nurses' my office, fuck yeah. but you're talking about yeah. ICU, you, man. Yeah, yeah. For for a reference, they had a, a study table. Anyone who hadn't completed work or anything past in middle due, school, in yep. middle school, yeah. In like a little section where like the there was fucking wind, hallway yeah, where yeah. there was windows everywhere that people could see you and you could see them in rec whereas like the recess essentially but yeah. you were doing work because you were a bad boy. Yeah. That yeah, was because you yeah, like I, yeah, so it was like it was just a, a and they remember they fuck okay, this is very hot topic time about middle school. Remember they had like that giant like row table that would oversee the entire thing like if yes, besides the yeah. stage that, that if was, you were uh, in det if you were in detention yeah, that's detention. where you sat up and mm -hmm. ate your lunch it's almost everyone like knew. it was basically like making you the fucking like like the what's that dude like the, yeah like that thing like the the shame thing that's yeah. like in all those like the fucking shackles. like yes like at Disney World that's like my only favorite reference yeah. for those as if they've ever been in anything else but like I'm just like that's basically there for people to fucking throw tomatoes at yeah, you and dude, point dude, shit and like make fun of you yeah, but anyway I fucking I frequented it on detention so yeah that's, that's I got it for like a, the rest of the year once yeah that was like my punishment lunch detention yeah. for the rest of the year I snuck into Mrs. Canfield's class during like her free period I didn't want to go to Mr. Dillon's speech class because he was terrible. Shout out Mr. Dillon. Yeah, shout out Mr. Dillon. Shout out Miss Canfield, honestly. Yeah, shout out Miss Canfield. She's great. She's great. But uh, she, <laughs> she, she caught me. I was in the corner of the room, like right behind her desk. And uh, yeah, I, I, I got caught. Gave me much attention the rest of the year. Oh. <laughs> but anyways, so I, I, I walk out and I'm covered in blue. And there's a teacher there and there's a bunch of like kindergartners. And suddenly I'm there to help. And she's like, all right, so all these kids have iPads, and they're all watching the same, like, educational program. It's interactive with Bluey. the TV on the wall. I fucking love Bluey. Um, but anyways, uh, so long story short, 
it's like my job to look over this one girl who's like doing this so I sit down next to this girl and I'm still covered in blue and so they give me a blanket and I I it's like it wasn't a weird thing it's just like a dream thing so I take off my clothes and I'm wrapped in this blanket and there's just a child next to me and I'm trying to help her like on this iPad but you know how um you know fucking electronics work in dreams you can't get anything to work so I'm you, sitting there you become an making sure that I'm not exposed trying to help this girl like get to her fucking learning program hmm. and I'm sitting there and it, it was so weird because it was almost like like she wasn't my kid but she was and I'm covered in blue <laughs> and I'm wrapped we got, in we got we gotta keep remembering that John is blue for the entirety and, but, but of this story here's the thing is like of the blue it started out as this really weird like very Tobias uncomfortable Fuke. situation <laughs> but the longer I sat with this little girl it was like very paternal and I like like grew attached to her and like we had a very like like father daughter rapport caring for this girl yeah blue. she yeah, she became she became she and, she, she, and that's that's where the dream ended but it, it was, was just weird so like that, weird man. to start off i'm going to see the movie ended up oh i'm naked huddled in a blanket next to a little girl trying to you know get her to, on her leapfrog while i'm blue while he's blue i, well, I don't know if blue. i mentioned i'm blue she's my daughter it's not okay but it's not even like it was like like yeah. crazy, like all oh, my whole body's blue. There's just like these fucking like stains all over me. Like, I like the idea that you're like fully blue. I was really hoping yeah, John, like Arrested I, Development. I was yeah, I was hoping that John would just look at like his dream camera and go, guys, I really blew myself. Yeah, I, I turn into the, the dream camera and I just I do the gym. I just you know the little smirk. Wah wah. I actually was talking about David Cross with uh the kid that I was uh caregiving for. Wait, really? Yeah, David Cross is sweet. Yeah, I, I was watching Curious George, this kid that I was taking care of. Is he in the and, movie? Uh, yeah, he was in the Curious George. Is he George the Yellow movie. Man? He was um. I mean, it was. Hat. I mean, David Cross <laughs> George. is a very distinct voice. Yeah, yeah. it was hundred percent was him. I forget who exactly was. He was in the Blue Man. That was um. Was he like one of like the, I'm pretty sure. Was he one of the tour guides? He was like or the like the, the museum the owners dude, or something. Yeah, the museum owner or something like you that. Ever, and I just wanted to make more references to David Cross, but I'm like, I can't talk about. He David won't know Cross who he's talking about. You ever uh? You ever well, notice inappropriate? Yo, kid, you you ever see Mr. Show? You ever notice Curious George doesn't have a tail? Curious chimp. Yeah. yeah, I guess he would be an, he's an ape. Then. Yeah, Chimpanzee. they oh, keep yeah. calling him a monkey though. <laughs> also, you could have talked about Mega Mind with him. No, I actually brought up Alvin and the Chipmunks. Oh, okay. Which I mean, I mean, that's a safe. That's a safe bet. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm just thinking of kids' movies. Yeah. David Cross. Did he There's know? Not too many. Had of he them. seen? I think he. Yeah, he had. He was familiar. Okay. Oh, and, I think know, he knew his way around a chipmunk. More, more of a curious George guy. I see. Sure. Understandable. Well, I'm of taste, frankly. Upside down. It's a good song in that movie. Dude, I was. Telling, <laughs> I, I, kept, I kept telling him, I was like, "Man, Jack Johnson made a good soundtrack to this movie, man. <laughs> you should, you should really uh, be appreciating this." Oh, that's he really was like, cool. "Yeah, he's learn, like, yeah. learn some appreciation, kid. You, you don't know, you don't know how good you got it's it right not now." About curious George is about Jack Johnson and, and David Cross. Down. Yeah, and David Green, Will Ferrell. He was the fucking banana man. Will Ferrell's in the Barbie movie. Yeah, he is. Really? Yeah, yeah I he seen him in the trailers. Such Barbie vibes. He's, he's so a, he's so baby. That's girl. the thing though is he's the CEO of Mattel. He's not even a Barbie character. Boo! I want him to be one of the Kens. <laughs> that Will would be Ferrell's funny. Will one of the Kens. Old would be Ken. Fucking hilarious. That would be really funny. Nah, don't even mention his age. It's just Will Ferrell with a bunch of makeup. That's a good one. He's, he's supposed probably... to be one of the Kens. Yeah, that's funny. what they do with Ryan Gosling, honestly. Yeah, I mean he still. I mean he's, he's also like ripped to and hell. And he's also just of Ryan course. Gosling. I mean, yeah. God, he's literally me. He's he just like me for real. <laughs> he just he's really been hitting out of the park since like the year two thousand. Dude, honestly, just been going off. the Notebook. I mean, Nice Guys, Crazy Blade, Stupid Love, Blade, Blade Runner, Runner, La La Land, Barbie, La, yeah, La, 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 La Land. Land. Wow. Fuck. No, yeah, Nice Guys as well. That one. Yeah, God, Nice Guys is nice, so good. Nice Guys. Is you who? Oh yeah. <laughs> you, I, I was watching an interview with him and Russell Brand on Steve. Russell Cole. Crow, you mean? Oh, yeah, Russell Russell Crow. Sorry. Yeah, no, uh, you're good. And uh, that would be a different movie. That would be a way different. That'd be a way movie. worse movie. That would be. Uh, fucking hop <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, it was Russell Brand and him on Stephen Colbert or not Russell Brand fuck Russell Crowe uh, and Ryan Gosling just like walks off like the whole show and it, he like makes it really dramatic like he rips up Stephen Colbert and, shit. and he goes to the audience and, they, and then Russell Crowe Russell Crowe blasts a shirt at him and it just says uh, take Ryan Gosling back or something it was really funny he's a gem, a gem. Oh, what no, the he's hell? great yeah well, I don't know about you guys, but I think we can end nah, on I got, John's Blue. On John Blue? I was going to say I got one thing to preach. Oh, yeah, please do, please do. 
Everyone, everyone, go play Pikmin Four right now. I'm just gonna say it's uh, Bear the Tears of the Kingdom. Shout out, shout out, and dude, got Nick to sit up. What a shit <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have been playing a lot of Pikmin Four. I just, I gotta get out of my chest. I've been playing I think. a lot of Elden Ring and watching a lot of the Bear. Do both of those things. They're yeah. both great content. Um, Pikmin Four. Support the writer strike and the actor strike, by the way. Hell yeah! Watch I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw. Yeah, I I saw Bob Odenkirk and David Cross on the picket line, and Dude, Bob Odenkirk really? Bob Odenkirk had a sign that said, "I'm not gonna read scripts written by an AI." And I was like, yeah. "Did nice. you ever? Did you guys see Rosemary Harris oh, was God. on the fucking picket line?" No. Aunt not... May, Aunt oh, May from the Tobey oh, Maguire. She's really? like 95. Was on the fucking picket line. Let's so, fucking dude, go. Her, Rosemary man. Harris kicks ass. I am so surprised she is still alive, frankly. Like, you can't kill her. You can't put her down. Saying that, like, you can't put Rosemary Harris down. She looked like she was 90 for the Spider-Man movies. My lord. Yeah. Good Good lord. Fuck yeah. She's probably yeah. fucking probably cool doing her squats, man. <laughs> doing her squats. I guarantee she's doing some weightlifting. Fucking beast. Yeah. Okay, so, um, really important, if you guys are watching, you've made it this far, I want you to put in the comments, I want you to give me your honest opinion on whether or not you think Jesus came back, resurrected with or without his foreskin? Yeah. I'll put. I will put. I'll. Larger. I'll put a poll on, on the YouTube like Please thing. Do. That's like, Please hey do. everyone. I'll try. I'll see if I remember to like put a link in the description. I'll make it the pinned comment to be like, hey, click here to vote on the poll. If Jesus was resurrected, would he have his foreskin? Jesus back? Res Jesus erected. Was erected. Yeah, he was erected. <laughs> and <laughs> what? What was? Rock on our brains. Yeah. Wow, wow, not wow. enough in our heart. No. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I need right. I need I need more foreskin in my heart. <laughs> all right. This yeah, has yeah, been yeah. uh this yeah, has been troglomite and uh, trog fuck. I said it wrong. <sighs> this has been troglomite and as we always yeah. say at the end of the pod. Hi mom. Pickled chicken rampage. Pickled chicken I'm rampage. Fine, I'm thanks. fine. Thanks. Eat dirt. Uh, eat dirt. Eat. I've been looking at eat dirt yeah, all fucking day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Eat dirt. Fuck you, Ant <laughs> <laughs> No, I like Dude, Ant Dude. Every shit. every episode is gonna have just like a Ant Dude shit post thing. We, he's I like, he I this and shout out Ken. No Karis. way he's gonna find this. It'd be so funny. Fuck, I just remember send it to him. Yeah. Magikarp used Fly found one of your videos. So uh... Magikarp wait, used wait. Fly found one of my videos. Really? He, no, yeah, my, yeah. Fire. I thought you were talking about Ant Dude. Yeah, he no. fucking he used one of me and Ralph's like old like meme things. Like my on one of my like alternate channels. He posted like a th like a, the the beginning of one of my most popular videos on there, and I don't think I got credit for it. But everyone was just like, "Gary, your videos on this thing on this reaction video." I was like, "Haha, whatever." And they're like, "No, Garrett, your thing is in this." And I was like, "The fuck's everyone talking about?" And that video, I'm like, "That video's got a lot of views," but I'm like, "No one's gonna know that's me. I don't care. I'm just like, that's so weird." That's just a very just weird a thing that happens. Crazy happened. niche yeah. YouTuber to have just like had your thing like. Right. Yeah, and it's also just weird because I was watching Donkey yesterday, and he mentioned Magic Carp like, used fly, and I was like, "Dude, what the fuck? Your, your Donkey number is two. <laughs> All right, but I've got my my Donkey neural link is getting closer every day. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Not even close, baby. All right, this has been Troggle Mike, and remember, pickle chicken rampage. I'm fine. Thanks. Eat dirt. Booger! Booger! <laughs> Fuck. What do we think? Booger. Booger! Uh, a lot. Four a out of ten. A lot, a lot of editing. That, 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 we yeah, definitely, we definitely were off focus. And I just sit here and I off focus a little more. <laughs>